YouTube viewers. Today I'm going to show you how to change or put in a graphics card in your computer. I've had some viewers requesting video tutorials on how to do this, so I understand we all got to start somewhere, so you know, I'll just start off by telling you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your computer's turned off, which mine's turned off because it lights up normally, so then the second thing you can do is this switch on the back of your power supply. Click that off. And if you don't have a switch, that's okay. You can just unplug it. Same thing. Then you're going to want to take your thumb screws out. Or your case may have Phillips screws. And you just get your little Phillips screwdriver out and take them out. <clears throat> or maybe you have a toolless case where you can just pop something open. It's depends on your case for the main thing and then mine just slides off like so comes off and then I unhooked my fan already so I don't know some cases have side fans mine I had to add in then you can take that and put that down for now because you won't need that so then you have the inside of your case and then before you touch anything make sure you touch the case, you know, good good contact so that way if you have any stray static voltage on you, it gets discharged in the case and not something you touch. <laughs> Otherwise you're gonna fry something on your board and that's not good. So you know, fry it with thousand plus volts and your computer's only designed to run on at least twelve, so just a safety precaution. Then the next thing you have to do is uh, I guess your power supply. I have a 600 watt power supply which is plenty. I would recommend at least a 400 watt you know just to run this card plus any other added in things you might have like me. You know, I have two hard drives and a solid state drive is my main one and I have a TV tuner and your 8 gigs of RAM each one of these sticks. Everything you add in takes more wattage to run so just be aware of that and I have some cold cathode lighting and a fan controller in here so yeah then next thing you gotta do is make sure you have a six pin power plug handy just looks like that pretty self explanatory there and I don't know if you would happen to have a modular power supply or not you have to make sure you have it plugged in so then that way you can power your graphics card. So then after that, then you find your slots. Make sure you have a PCI Express 16. Mine's labeled right here you can see by the board. PCI Express X16. And another characteristic of these slots is they have a little latch deal on them. None of the other, lat or other uh, slots have them. And my motherboard happens to have two in case I would do a crossfire, which it's not SLI compatible, but it's for two graphics cards. So then mine, I have to put this little VGA switch card in here if I'm only running one, so that way it doubles the speed of one. Because then I don't know if you'd possibly get PCI Express slots confused with a PCI Express 16. You can see it's set back a little bit and it's longer. And the main thing is this little bump here is on the front on a PCI Express 16 and it's on the back on regular PCI slots. And then these little PCI Express X4 slots here and a PCI Express 1 down there. Don't worry about them, they're for TV tuners like I have here and sound cards and various other things. So you just want to make sure you have that. And then on the back here, make sure you have two open slots, PCI slots that is. Because as you can see, the graphics card uses two slots. So you need to make sure you have two open ones. And make sure that the way you tell that if you have the right slots, is you find your slot and come straight over, and it's the next one down, and then the next one. So two down, so straight even and two down. If you have that, it'll fit. 
And the other thing you probably want to make sure of is that the front of your hard drives here to the back of your case here, you have at least eight inches of clearance because this is, you know, it's a big card. <laughs> it's even bigger than my hand. But anyway, just make sure you have enough space there. You know, clear out a room so you can fit it in. <laughs> and then you take the card, make sure you don't have any static again, touch the case, which I'm doing with my other hand, just can't see it. <laughs> Then you're going to want to just guide it in. Well, I suppose that would help if I would unlock this thing. I don't know if your case has a toolless thing or not. Most of them have screws, like you can see here. My case has holes for screws in it, but I don't use them, I just use this toolless thing. Make sure that's open or you take your screws out if your PCI slots are held in by screws, which some of them are or punch them out if you need to. So like mine they're pretty well permanent and then you have to punch them out if you need one which is kind of a pain because then if you punch one out you don't have something to put in there then you gotta find a slot to cover it with. So once again touch your case then you just want to take the card and make sure that you're getting it in the slot there I need to set my phone down so I can push on it, but you just push on the outside of your case so that way you know you don't push your case off the edge of the table like I'm going to do here. So, <laughs> so I'm going to set the phone down here quick. And Did you hear that click? And it locks into place. Make sure this little latch is latched. And then you make sure that you're slots line up. See mine's got a little bit of wiggle room in there just because it's you know it's not a perfect fit but once I close this little deal it'll lock up good. And then you see it those two PCI slots I told you you needed then it's using them two right now. So then what you do is if your case requires screws you would just put in a screw in that little hole there and it would hold the card in and then there's another screw hole right there or in my case I just lock that and now the card is secured in there so now that you got your card in then you want to make sure you have your six pin power supply power plug, excuse me plug that into your graphics card just push it in until it stops just like that so then that's all there is to putting a graphics card in your computer. It's just hardware wise anyway. And you come around here to the back and plug in your monitors. So I gotta plug in these three. I have two DVIs and then I have an HDMI slot. Which is really nice about this card because it uses full HDMI instead of mini HDMI like my old card. So that way I can just use a regular HDMI cable. And it does have a regular VGA in case you're using an old CRT monitor or you just don't have any DVI cables. <laughs> so you plug them in, make sure that's in. And that's all there is to putting in a graphics card. And then you can power on your case, BSU, sorry. And these cards have a handy little feature, it's LED to make sure it's getting power. It glows green when it's working and if there's a short or something, you know, your card burns up, whatever, it'll turn, I think it flashes red. So then see what I'm talking about here is how big this card is, it's actually pushing on my SATA cables for my hard drives. And I actually had to move them up one slot just to be able to get it to fit in there. So is that now it's the same, basically the same size as my motherboard in there. So yeah, just make sure you got plenty of room. That's all I can stress the most is just, you know, I've heard of people go buy a big old graphics card like this and then it don't fit in their case and, you know, and then they just have all sorts of stress there. So 
just save that stress and make sure it fits before you buy it. Then you can power on your computer. Make sure everything's working. I can come around over to here. Make sure that I'm getting video. It's a good beep sound. And there we go, it works. So, so now the computer's starting. And just you know, watch it, make sure it doesn't blue screen or something on you because then you know you have to go reinstall your driver, which mine is already installed because this is I've been using it. But anyway, then yeah, just see my in login screen right now. So I love solid state drives, that was a quick boot. <laughs> so then yeah, once that's working. And you can put your side case back, or your side cover back on. So I'll get it put on the right way later because I only have one hand at the moment. But that's all you need to install a new graphics card. Your slots, make sure your power supply is right. And that you have a PCI Express power connector that's a six pin. And just always remember, touch your case so you don't burn something up. I've heard of that happen so many times where people aren't careful and they touch their graphics card or some other component in their computer and burn it up with static. So just, you know, can't stress that enough. Just make sure that you do that so you don't kill your board. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this tutorial helps. And then happy installing your graphics card and I hope your games work good and everything. So. Yes, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. If it helped you, leave it in the comments. I always like hearing from my viewers and everything, at how they think I'm doing on my videos and stuff. So, yes, I hope to hear from you. And take her easy.